It's decision night for Barrington taxpayers. They must decide whether to approve higher taxes to build a new middle school. And tonight's vote comes as the current Barrington Middle School gets ready to reopen tomorrow after being closed for a couple of days because of water damage from Tuesday's winter storm. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us live from Barrington with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, Shannon and Mike, the town manager tells us that renovating would come close to or exceed the cost of rebuilding the middle school. So as it stands, the plan is to tear down this existing structure and then to rebuild on these athletic fields behind me. But that's all contingent on a vote that's taking place tonight. It's old, it's tired, and it needs to be replaced. Barrington Middle School students have had the last couple days off, not directly due to the weather, but several leaks found on the second floor. Barrington superintendent says this further demonstrates the fact the middle school has reached its service life. We've invested quite a bit of money over the years into that building. Um, it's just time for a replacement. Tonight, a special financial town meeting will be held at Barrington High School. It's the final step in allowing the town to exceed its 4% tax cap in order to pay for a new middle school. Town manager Jim Cunha says the new school will cost $3.1 million annually for the next 25 years. When you break that down, it means a resident who owns a home valued at $365,000 will pay $600 more in taxes each year. There's also taxpayers that um, are very concerned about, and rightfully so, about their increased tax rate. So I expect there to be uh, is some discussion about the pros and cons of this and whether the community should do it or not. Nonetheless, officials hope residents vote in favor of exceeding the tax cap to provide a new foundation and a better education. The building's bricks and mortar, but the value of your education is the, those who support you, which is your community, the teachers that you have in your building, your educators and support staff, and of course, students that come to school ready to learn every day. And in addition to those leaks, the town manager tells us the roof and the plumbing in the building are outdated. The school is an ADA compliant and there's no sprinkler system inside of it. Again, that vote is taking place at 7 o'clock tonight at Barrington High School. If it is approved, the school will be ready or it should be ready to open by the academic year in 2019. Again, we'll be at that meeting tonight. We'll bring you the latest details. Reporting live in Barrington with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.